But the money you say that we could go to the movies. There's a brand new movie coming we out this weekend. A lot of movies. Actually, this movie opened last week in IMAX, so it's a really could be a big movie, and it opens wide tomorrow. Check it out. It's called The Walk. And people ask me, why do you risk death? For me, this is life. Welcome to New York. Anything to declare? I'm going to hang a high wire between the two towers of the World Trade Center and walk on it. <laughs> Good luck. I know where I was going. Yes, that actor is Joseph Gordon-Levitt. You've seen him before in many things. And in this one, he plays Philippe Petit, the French higher wire walker who came to the United States in 1974, the string of wire between the World Trade Centers. And uh, this movie's out as a documentary. There is a documentary, I should say, that has been released already that tells this story. And it's an incredible story. So you're going behind the scenes to figure out how these guys are going to pull off this, this, ah. it's a, it's oh. a, yeah. oh, how do you like Jeez. that, huh? Oh. It's an illegal thing he did. So they had to be really sneaky about it. And they, they're going to go way up in the air. You know how high that was. And then he steps on a nail halfway during this thing. And it's a whole story and of all the different things that oh. happened, why they tried to get this together. So it was pretty cool. And what really makes it cool is Philippe Petit, of course, is still with us and still around. And Joseph Gordon-Levitt had a chance to uh, talk to him. And he had to answer some demands, even. Philippe really insisted that he be the one to first teach me how to walk on the wire. And you're right, I felt really lucky to get to spend the time with him. He's such an admirable guy. Um, but what I, what I took away most probably was, was just his optimism. He's such a positive thinker. Um, you know, he really believed that I would be able to learn how to walk on that wire. And he convinced me, he made me believe it. And I, I think it's when you believe that you can do something, that's when you can actually do it. Uh, the fact that Robert Zemeckis uh, was the one asking me to do this uh, was a huge part of it. He's made so many great movies. Back to the Future, Roger Rabbit, Castaway, Forrest Gump, Flight. Um, yeah. And uh, this is a quintessential Robert Zemeckis movie, and, and it's an honor to be a part of it. Yeah, Robert Zemeckis has made a lot of movies that bring new elements to filmmaking, you okay. know, whether it be animation or action or whatever, but this one really brings vertigo into play because it's one of those yeah. things. I mean, you think, how long, how, how could a movie be just about walking between the buildings, but it's setting it up and all that, which is a great story, but then when you actually get up on the wire, it's like, you feel yeah. it in the audience. He's stepping on a nail, it's though. I'm sort of freaking out. Well, just stepping on the nail. I mean, that's, <laughs> oh, man. that's a crazy feeling. I like out that there. it's based on a true story, though. I think yeah. it's going to be interesting to see that film. Yeah, there's a, there's a young lady, Charlotte Lebon, who plays the girlfriend in this. She's no longer with uh, Philippe Petit, she, but she was part of the story, and she just she almost couldn't take it. So she was talking about what an incredible film and story this is. It's, it's incredible. You would never believe it's true. I mean, but um, but I was also wondering that it, she has to, you have to be a very, very special and, you know, person to be able to do that. And I mean, that was, it was also, I thought you have to be kind of narcissistic, too, to be able to, to do that kind of thing, because he was always alone in the end. He was building it with a lot of people, and he needed a lot of support, but in the end, it was just him performing. And it's normal, because he was the only one who could wire walk, you know? He, but uh, I know that I asked myself that question, like, wh where was the line between his pride and his arrogance? If true story wasn't written on the poster, we would never believe it's true. It's th There are those kind of person who do does those extreme things, but in the end, it's a metaphor for a, a lot of beautiful things in life. I mean, the, res the result is a man walking in the sky, and he did this extreme thing, but it could be, it could be for people, uh, it could be for to talk in front of 20 people, for instance, and comfort their father or their mother coming out of the closet. It could be a lot of things, but he did this beautiful, yeah. incredible thing. I think she would have liked our Gigi segment today. <laughs> it's very French, huh? I love it. <laughs> yeah, and she has some great things to say there. You know, one of the interesting things about this movie, too, is looking at the World Trade Centers. Like, they're shooting a movie on that. Obviously, they're no longer there. Right. Mm -hmm. And when you think about what it took to make it look like that and have those images as part of this film, another tribute to Robert Zemeckis and his staff and style and all that kind of thing. So it's, it's I pretty just, I hope it doesn't make people get out there and try to take selfies somewhere on a because ah. <laughs> they're crazy like that now. Well, the, I got to tell you something. It, in, if that was happening, that was 1974. If it's happening now, somebody would try something crazy right, like that. Right. Oh, for you, sure. You know that for sure. Mm -hmm. He had a great staff. We're talking about the staff of people that helped him do this. And Jam, James Badgedale and Ben Schwartz play these characters, and they talked a little bit about Philippe Petit and uh, the story. 
Uh, I had, I had seen the documentary. I had read up on uh, some material on him, and also I'm from New York. Same with uh, Badge. So Badge. the Badge. the legend, it is Badge, right? <laughs> yes. Badge. Uh, the Thanks. legend has been you know passed down from generation to generation in New York. So I knew about the event, but. Uh, Meeting the man himself was pretty remarkable. He's a powerful individual. I mean, he he it, it, he holds this energy, and he he walks up to you, and you see he plants his feet on the ground. He's very aware of every movement, mm. and and but he's just kind of this vibrating artist. Like he's you know. energy. He's yeah. energy in yeah, it's like light. He's just like right. about right. to burst in yes. a minute. Yeah. So this guy, he gets this thing all the plans in place. He's going to do it, and then he steps on that nail. You know, so that adds another element to it. Or it's illegal what he's doing, so no another element is uh, police and news helicopters coming up to the wire and blowing all, oh, that, man. Blowing all that wind, uh, and he's, he's on the wire with it. So, I mean, you can just well, imagine. The good news is we know it ends well because he helped you, <laughs> he helped him to learn how to walk yeah, on the tightrope. Yeah, so yeah. we're good. Yeah. So you really get that, that physical feeling of like stepping on the nail or hanging off or you could fall and that sort of thing. So it's a fantastic film. It's in, on IMAX and I think they've got one at Crocker Park, uh, a real IMAX and an IMAX style screen at uh, Valley View Cinema, Cinemax also. So. All right. So you can check it out in one of those places or in all theaters in regular format. <laughs> okay, talk about...